Alrighty, twice cooked pork. We're doing it all on the griddle. First things first, we have a large leek. We need to get it sliced and soaked in water to get a lot of that dirt out of it. So one simple thing. We're able to um, go to the uh, Asian market and buy a couple ingredients. We're gonna introduce a new one to you today. Pretty excited about that. So there's half and then we're just gonna cut it Stepping on that comfort zone, buying some things that we typically don't buy. Since we did that, I thought it'd be a nice way to introduce multiple recipes. So if you do happen to buy the ingredients, you don't feel like you're stuck with it. These are notorious for having a ton of dirt and sand in them. So a good washing cleaning is important. Just giving those leaks plenty of washing that dirt will settle to the bottom and i can show you how important it is when we strain them here is our smoked pork belly we mentioned that we did that on the uh smoked pork belly fried rice really quick to recap we took the skin off we seasoned it with that texas rub salt pepper garlic and seasoned salt smoked it at 250 wrapped it about 165 to 170 degrees and pulled it about 200 degrees let it rest overnight just by that look right there we're gonna cut that in half and then we're gonna thinly slice it. This side of the griddle's on medium. We have low and low. I'm gonna start cooking the pork and get all that fat rendered out to make it crispy. Here are the stars of the show. We mentioned this being the broad bean paste, and this is the cooking wine. It was only about four bucks, and how much was this? I think three dollars. Yeah, so you're not breaking the bank, and um, we've tasted them, very unique flavors, and I think that's what gives this dish all the power it needs. We have some vessels to prep. Let's quickly go over our ingredients. We have garlic, ginger, some spicy peppers, some sugar, some of that wine, that's the bean paste, some poison sauce, and soy sauce. And let's get some of these peppers knocked out. These are those long, uh, hot uh, peppers. I don't really think they're that hot. They remind me of a banana pepper. Maybe a hair more spicy. And then we just have basic bell peppers. I did the colored ones just for a little pop of color. You could definitely use bell if you had them. That's the color we're looking for right there. Rendering that fat out. Cut that down to low. It's got plenty of heat left over. We will be just fine. A lot of real estate space to work with. We're just gonna slice the garlic thin, thin as you can do it. A couple of slices of ginger and just take that skin off. You can do it with the back of a spoon. You can do it with a knife. Anything, a little roughage. You should be good to go. We're gonna mince that as well. Just to smooth this over to the side. You see all that pork fat right there? We're gonna use that to our advantage. Garlic, ginger, and some peppers. Let's add just a touch more oil, a couple of tablespoons. Whatever you do, don't let your garlic burn. The griddle's still on low. To that, we're gonna add the vegetables. Got those strained leeks. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like digging for gold. See how much dirt's down there? Quite common with leeks. Add that pork. Grab some of that oil from the twice cooked pork. I'm gonna add that fermented bean paste right to the griddle. Poison sauce, that cooking wine. 
soy sauce, and sugar. Twist the rice up, did a little basmati today. Do the rice you like and how you like to cook it. And that is my take on twice cooked pork on the griddle. We smoked it to begin with and I think that was the key to the dish. So my first impressions, have not tasted it at all. It's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is good. It tastes, it tastes authentic. That's for sure. Spicy. Woo, it's got a kick. Woo. Yeah, that's what I thought it had a kick. Probably those hot peppers. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> I'm all about it. Mm. I'm all about it. Mm. Well, I tell you, we've hit some good ones lately. That, that pork is really good. That sweet and sour we did lately. You got to try the sweet and sour. That was good. The fried rice we did was good. Now, this is what I was expecting with the fried rice. I was got that punch. Oh. Maybe that wine would be a good addition mm. to that fried rice. Anyways, mm. there we go. That's why we do it. Step on a limb. Create that unfamiliar comfort zone. Try something new. You're going to like it or don't like it. But this is pretty good. This is really, really good for total of eight bucks to try something completely different and you can do this with different cuts of meat you don't have to do the pork thanks for watching don't forget to press subscribe button pound the notification button share it with your friends peace good nuts this thing's fantastic Let's make it is plate. spicy it's spicy <laughs> a little spicy the pork is good i would the substitute regular peppers good. the pork mm. is super good especially when you get a piece that has like a lot of meat you know